Hello YouTube and this is Todd Martin from Solid Shell Security again with another Python tutorial. Um, this will be continuing the little series that has to do with configuration files. So, so I've already kind of talked about what a configuration file is and what it does and some of the basics. You can go back and look at the at that video for that. This one is going to deal with uh, writing writing configuration files. Now you can write it without using a program or programming language, but for this video starting out we're gonna we're gonna generate a configuration file by using Python. Alright. <clears throat> so here I have my uh, terminal up. Minimize this. And I already have a folder created that everything's going to go in called config tut or short for config tutorial. Open that up. Now I'm going to navigate it. Navigate to it. Oh, I'm already there. Alright, so nothing's in it. So now we are going to actually make this a little bit easier to read. I'm going to clear that out. And now I'm going to start my Python interpreter. All right. Let me open this up so that way you can see both of these. All right. So first things first, after we start a Python interpreter, we need to use a module or a library, whatever term you prefer. And for this it is going to be config parser. All right. So let's import config parser and of course the C and the P are capitalized. The thing we need to do is we need to create a variable to basically use objects or use statements from the parser. So we got statement here is config parser dot config parser so we set the variable config so anytime we use it it will use the statement within the library next what we need to do is we need to create a file as you see I do not have a file in this folder currently um, in case you don't know anything about uh, dealing with uh, files in Python and such if you don't have a file and you're writing to a file, it will automatically generate one for you, or it will automatically create it. Um, I'm going to call this config.ini. INI will be the extension for the configuration file, so that has to be there for this to work. And we're going to put w because it will be writable. So open config.ini simply basically opens up the config ini file as writable. So word creates one and also makes it so we can write to it. Alright, now we're going to actually start adding content to our configuration file. So, to do this, we're going to do add section. The last video I talked about INI files have like a structure, you have like categories and then you have stuff within the categories, the information within the categories. So for this we're just going to create a simple configuration file, we're going to have a person and then we're going to put details of that person. So, add add section. Person, so think of this as uh, creating a category called person. Now we're going to add information to our category. So config.set person give our person a name and for the sake of video we'll make it Todd. Alright, config.set person name Alright, so this takes three arguments. Uh, 
Alright, so the first argument is going to be our section, or another term that I've been using is kind of like a category, if you want to think outside of proper terms of programming, if it helps you think about it a little bit more. Next, we are going to have uh, kind of like the subject of information, so like a label. And then we are going to actually have the uh, information, specific information, such as, okay, so we have a person. This category is a person, person one, their name, Todd, or whatever you want to enter in here. All right, we can also add other things, so we can create more. We can say age and 19, big dot set, person. As eyes go true. All right. Next thing we need to do is we actually need to write to our configuration file. So big dot write. Let's talk about this one. Big dot write file. All right, so we already have file defined. File is going to be our argument within the write, write function or write statement. And basically what dot write is going to do is it's going to write the information to the file. And you say, well, didn't we do this here? No, we didn't. Um, basically, if you type in config, which is your variable for uh, what you're using the configuration parser for, see you get this memory address. So basically it's kind of like a right now it's stored in memory right here. This is the address. And whenever you write to it, it writes everything that we just stored in this temporary memory address to the actual file. Now we can close the file. All right. And now we are done with our Python interpreter. Now let's go here. You can open it up, and as you can see, we have person, name equals Todd, age 19, has eyes equal true. You, you can write a configuration file without using Python to do it for you. You just need to follow this basic format here. So this is a configuration file, and basically how we can use Python to write information to it, and also what it looks like. So if, if we were going to write this ourselves, we could say, uh, this is person 1, have... Person two, name equals, I don't know, age equals 203, has eyes equals false. And that would work too. It will save that. Alright, so the next video we will go over will be dealing with uh, getting information from uh, configuration files. Probably should have put next video. Alright, so once again, uh, configuration files just showed you how to write to it. It uses the library config parser. And uh, for any configuration file, you have to use .ini as the extension. So instead of .txt, .doc, dot whatever you can think of for a configuration file it is name dot ini that is the file extension our next video will be uh, actually getting information from configuration files so using having python read it All right. and this is my email address in case you guys have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer them there you go